Hello, hello, hello. So I've had a lot of my friends asking me uh, lately why I'm doing the cold exposure stuff. Um, I wrote a blog about it, but I understand that not, not everybody has the time to read a blog. So I figured it would be good to kind of make a video so you guys can put it on while you're driving or working out or something like that. But I'm just going to explain the importance of cold exposure and the benefits from it. So exposing yourself to the cold activates your primal thermoregulatory systems. And there are two types of stress. There's good stress and there's bad stress. I'm pretty sure there's actually three types, but this is what I learned from Wim Hof, so I'm going to go, go off of that. So the good stress is exposing yourself to the cold. This is just, um, it comes on and then it goes. It's like being attacked by a bear. That's the example I always use. So when you're attacked by a bear, you get a shot of adrenaline, your um, focus becomes laser sharp, and you're very aware, you're very present of what's happening. But as soon as the bear leaves, as soon as the threat leaves, then these systems um, stop acting. And that's the same with the cold. So when you expose yourself to the cold, you are um, activating these primal systems, but you're also able to um, kind of stop them whenever you leave the cold. So it's like a muscle. These systems are like muscles. And if you don't work a muscle, it goes away. So if you don't work these systems, they become weaker. Um, and the, uh, it was with the good stress and the bad stress. I think I just talked about the good stress. So the bad stress is a stress that you get from having a bad job or being in an unhappy marriage or just being generally unhappy with money, money problems. So this is the kind of stress that comes and stays every day. Unlike the good stress, which comes and goes when you're all done with it, the stress comes and it stays. And that's what causes depression, anxiety, all these really terrible things. So those are basically the two kinds of stress. Exposing yourself to the cold is exposing yourself to a positive stress. Um, now this is really cool. So one of the goals of cold exposure is to become what's called anti-fragile. Anti-fragile is a theory uh, written by the same man who wrote uh, The Black Swan. I was going to read off the definition right here. <sighs> to be anti-fragile is not necessarily to be strong but to disrupt our homeostasis and comfort zone to develop strength, happiness, and health. So our physiology does not want us to be comfortable. That's just not how it is. As humans, we're in a constant state of warm homeostasis. Uh, when it's in the summertime, if it's too hot, we put on AC to make ourselves comfortable. In the wintertime, when it's too cold, we turn on heaters, turn on the heat, crank our car, heat up, or we put on many layers. So we're basically constantly comfortable going back to the previous point, we're not exercising these um, systems that need to be exercised in order to remain strong. Antifragile is a pretty cool, cool word and concept. I like the idea of that. Uh, now, when it comes to your mind, when you expose yourself to the cold, um, it will reflect your life. When you willingly expose yourself to a disruption, when you willingly disrupt your comfort, um, you're building your mental strength and mental capacity so that when uh, unexpected disruption arises, you're more likely and more easily to overcome it more faster and more appropriately. So when you constantly expose yourself to good stress, to good disruptions, then when unexpected stress and unexpected disruptions arise, you, are, uh, you will handle it better. Let's see, cold activates fear. This is really cool. So I have always said this, one of my 2019 um, mindset frames I'm gonna have is, uh, fear is a friend who is misunderstood. Um, you don't wanna fear fear. Fearing fear is like uh, ignoring really good advice, if that makes sense. Fear means you're going in the right direction. Listen to your fear. Don't succumb to it, but listen to what it's telling you. So it activates the fear. It's like, it's that, you know when you get afraid of something, you get like the really, strong gut feeling and then you kind of get a little bit lightheaded and your eyes get wide and you're like oh my god you know so what the cold does it activates your fear that's why you want to get out of it right away but if you reframe that fear into excitement and into strength and invigoration then it becomes something really really cool and that's what i've been doing um learn how to benefit from the cold learn how to benefit from exposing yourself to these stresses the cold disrupts your patterns, your plateaus, your comfort, your nervous system, your stasis, 
your warmth, obviously, your physiology, and your blood flow. Now, just a quick list of benefits uh, of cold exposure regularly. It improves the immune system. So the immune system is one of those primal systems I was talking about before that needs to be worked regularly in order to uh, remain efficient. Um, people always say, oh, you're gonna go out in the cold, you're gonna get a cold. It's the opposite. A big reason why people are so, pretend to get sick in the winter time is because we're always warm. It's not because we're always cold, but it's because we're always warm. And so our immune system is never really exposed to much. We're always just sitting in our car, or sitting in our desk, or sitting at home, not really doing anything. So our systems become weak. So when we are exposed to a pathogen, then it invades our body much more easily. It strengthens the brain. Now, I can uh, test say this from firsthand, that cold exposure has helped me with my commitment to myself, commitment to others, my memory, because my memory was garbage. It still isn't the best, but it was bad before. And it's definitely helped me with my memory. It improves the blood flow to the brain and it improves my concentration. Um, now this is a really interesting point. So working, uh, being in the cold works your blood vessels. So your blood vessels, your arteries and your veins, they have a thin wall of muscle on the outside of them. And just like any muscle, like I was saying before, if it's not worked, then it will weaken. So when you go in the cold, uh, your body takes, it shunts blood from your extremities, from your fingers and your toes, and it brings it to your core. It keeps your vital organs warm. So it, the body figures, I can sacrifice my fingers and my toes, but I can't sacrifice my heart and my liver, if that makes sense. So when you are constantly exposing yourself to the cold, the muscles in your arterial walls are contracting and opening, contracting and opening, getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So as a result, it um, makes it easier for your uh, cardiovascular system to push the blood where it has to go to get to the vital organs in your body. Um, it's like a muscle. You have to strengthen it. You have to work it. And being in the cold, like, so when you're in the cold, it goes like this. When you're warm, it dilates. Cold constricts, warm dilates. Like any other muscle, eventually it's going to get stronger and stronger over time. Free shot of adrenaline. So, um, being in the cold activates your endocrine system, which is responsible for hormone regulation. And jumping into the cold is like a free shot of adrenaline. Going back to that fear, you're not feeling fear when you get into the cold, you're feeling that adrenaline rush. Try to reframe your mindset to understand that it's not bad, it's good. It's actually a free shot of energy. It's like, <sighs> I step out into the cold, I'm like, <sighs> yes, it feels good. <laughs> it feels great. It increases your metabolism. Um, which is awesome. I've definitely noticed myself uh, cut down body fat percentage since exposing myself to the cold regularly. And this is the biggest takeaway for me. It relieves body pain. Um, pain and suffering disease is a result of two things, an acidic environment and inflammation. Now, the cold reduces inflammation and the breathing, the Wim Hof method, increases the alkalinity of your blood. So those two things together will relieve pain. Pain cannot live in an alkaline environment and um, inflammation cannot survive in an alkaline environment either. So when you're exposing yourself to the cold, you are reducing inflammation because it makes your blood more alkaline. You're, when you breathe stronger, <sighs> When you breathe with purpose, when you breathe with invigoration, you're increasing the alkalinity of your blood and disease cannot thrive in it. The Wim Hof method regularly cures cancer, diabetes, anxiety, depression, these previously uncurable diseases. This method, this cold exposure, cures. So now why am I doing this? Well, I don't have any body pain. It's not because of the body pain. I'm trying to cut down some body fat, I do that. I like adrenaline. I want a strong cardiovascular system. Um, I want to improve my memory. I want to improve my commitment, which I have. And I want to have, improve my immune system. Now, the goal here, the goal of, of um, cold exposure, of a, a proper diet, of regular yoga and regular exercise, is not to lengthen my life. I do not fear death. I'm not trying to live forever. I'm trying to increase the quality of my life while I'm living it. I don't want to live a life full of pain and suffering, confusion and doubt. I want to live a life full of health, strength and happiness. So doing this cold exposure, doing this breathing, having a strong diet, having strong exercise, practicing yoga daily, 
will lead to an increased quality of life and I feel it every day. I feel it every day. Every day of my life is amazing, it's spectacular. I left toxic people in my life, I left toxic environments and I started working on myself. I started loving myself more than anybody. And as a result, I now easily love the people who I want to love. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing the cold exposure. If you have any more questions, please let me know. I'm always around. I always love talking about this stuff and I'm here to help you. I want you to become happy, healthy, and strong, just like me. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you around. <laughs>